Hi, this is Ho Jun Cheng. Uh, today I'm gonna look over the um, Wing D8 double controls for the Logic Pro X only. Um, yeah, there's a uh, the other D8 doubles that um this Wing support, but I'm um, uh, I guess um the Logic could be like best option for the control surface users. So. Um, first I'm gonna I'm not gonna talk about the uh, whole setup things so uh, there is a good uh, documentation from uh, Behringer so um, I uh, recommend you to uh, check this document and there is a way to set it up so um, and also there's um, uh, the MCU Mackie control unit the readings and also the setups about the MX controllers, so you you gotta read this. Uh, this uh, yeah here, MC implementation. So there's a uh, certain things that um, you gotta actually um, needs to know, cause I'm um, uh, yeah here the layer buttons, buttons um, is a view and channel one two three and then a whole whole thing. So um, this is something like this here. So view, this really shows the uh, name and value, right? So if I click this, okay, so it's a pen and uh, the channel names from the uh, logic. And also there's, um, yeah, a whole other things here for EQs and insert. And this is a bank. So, and this will go like one by one nudge right to the nudge so it's one by one here okay so this is like everything is uh, written here so you, you gotta check this and uh what you should know what does what right okay so um, i'm gonna just take this out and i just uh run the uh, one mix that i made and the uh, uh, mm, as you see everything is in sync so if I go for the um, okay, the next bank and the uh, main output, this one, this one will control the whole the overall output, right? So I'm gonna go over here and also so the um, I will go back to the first bank and just solo the kick. Okay, so here's the solo. So everything is synced. So this, the uh, wing actually control the whole the Logic Pro X right now. So, um, as you see here, it says that CS that means channel strip, right? Okay. So um, the thing is, if you click one more time here, okay. So if you choose this channel, here is the things that I'm uh, connected. So if I select kick here, so these two buttons or oh, no, these three buttons only work as a written, just as uh, the wing mixer. Select solo mute. And you cannot have something, some uh, encoder uh, functions on this side. It only work on this side, in this section. So um, if you are familiar with the uh, X touch or some other things, you just keep touching this thing, but uh, it doesn't work. So this section only works on the select, solo, and mute, and fader. And also this will work as uh, like each parameter controls as uh, as you touch with the X touch or Avid or Avid Artist, uh, Artist series or the C24, the, the old knobs, right? So it will work on this side. Um, it does have the uh, the four sections here. So second one, we will show the uh, same thing, but um, the different functions, marker, edit, yeah, and here stop preview same touch. So this is for the uh, automation. And here we have the uh, zoom and scrub here. So if you click zoom and use this one get the whole zoom in and out. Let me go back to um, the main mix 
person here. Okay, so so to say work, right? Zoom, zoom in, and this side too. That's nice, right? Okay, so let's go back here. And here is the uh, hold the measures 36 and the uh, feet and also you can see as a uh, time and mm, yeah time and feet and time and feet so this thing works on that side and I'm out uh, those um I'm just uh, skipping the basic things that covered on the uh, the documents okay so I'm um, uh, the um, Let's go back with the uh, actual controls. I guess that's the thing that you want to know. Okay, so if I click one, it will show the uh, basic this functions. So a volume. Right now it is uh, all the uh, volume things. Second one is pan. So minus twenty eight, minus forty eight. That's a pan. Okay, so there's a way to uh, use this fader. It's for um with the uh, ascension fader here okay so right now the whole fader section will control the each parameter um, in this case it is a pan pop so click will go to the right side the left side right this one the good tip is here this will change right this will also do the uh, the changes here and if you click this button it will go for zero yeah center right okay so and right now is a pn that means pan so you you choose pan and the other one next one is eq no no, no this is the send so Right now, the uh, sense one is connected to the uh, reverb. See this one, and this whole section will follow this one too. So this is a, a sub kick, kick rim, and so on. Okay, so just think about that. And the other one, next one is EQ, and this is a uh, dedicated one. But I'm not gonna use with this. I'm gonna use with the bus. Here and this is the insert section. So right now I select the uh, kick, so you will on, only hear the kick sound right here, right solo button. So if you hit it one more, then you will have the uh, whole the plugins that that connected on these channels. So right now the kick has one noise gate here and the channel EQ. Okay, so. Go back to here and I choose noise gate and the uh, noise gate window will uh, pop up okay just as you see that and the right now is the uh, flip so sends on fader all right so I'm gonna control the uh, gate here threshold right okay I'm gonna go back and raise the uh, master volumes okay so more kicks and going back here and no do is great okay just like this see I take time mm, send on fader Okay, the gate window is pop up here. Okay. What the time? So you can control like all individual things with this side. This is nice. It's nice to have here. So if you want to use the uh, little more hold. Okay. Good, right? Okay. I'm gonna choose the uh, bass and solo.
okay only the bass sound right so i'm choosing the bass and go back to bus here and there's um uh, api was connected this one api 55 and don't fade here so i can control with the uh, this whole whole thing with the uh, control surface nice right so it will work with the any other <laughs> plugins too so if i choose let's go back to the um logic and i'm gonna in insert the some more com complicated one something like um ssl in a strip So we have a whole bunch of controls that then needs to be controlled. So as soon as you you uh, select that plugin, this um, the whole wing can control that plugin. I think. Hold on, let's go back. Okay. Yeah. Right now I'm controlling the uh, the assessor. All the parameters and then go off, and then go on, yeah, here yeah. or compress release. Yeah, this will work, and also, like, if you go back to the other page, yeah, this will work with the, uh, the other pages, right? So It is a dual mono, so, so I'm controlling one of them. So this is nice, right? Compressor threshold here, so we'll work with that. Okay. So go back to plugin one. Uh, yeah, this is the e EQ. The um, okay, so there's a way to choose this thing. So pick one. So I'm gonna uh, pick one frequency here. It's like a whole other other view, not like uh, traditional control surface. Do some works. This is the, um, another way to control the whole section. And P2 gain here. So this is a whole lot better than just uh, controlling with your mouse, right? And also the uh, basic functions like the, the mix. Okay, let's go back to the uh, basic channels. Just regular things, right? Regular different sections. So, this is no joke. This is the uh, actual machines that, that you can um, use in your recording environment. Um, I'm just using the uh, Logic Pro right now, and I try with the Cubase and Pro Tools, but um, um, Logic is best way, best thing with your uh, Wing. Okay, um, this is just basic um, run through with the Logic Pro X. So I hope you enjoy this video and subscribe and uh, please, yeah, share. Okay, thank you. Bye.